Dr. Joe and I am to lovethatface.com. One of our common procedures that we do is lip reduction, and we're doing this on the upper or lower lips, and frequently people ask, how do I know how much needs to come off, or is there a way that I can tell? And we're going to show you uh, one of the ways that we predict the amount of lip tissue to be removed uh, with our markings. So stand by and watch us do this. We're talking to my friend here, relax your lips totally, and uh, we're talking about lip reduction. And one of the things I like to do to show people uh, a possible result or try and figure out how much to remove is have the patient practice in the mirror pulling their lips in to a position where they think it looks good on them. And go ahead and pull your lips in. Okay, not quite that much. Right there. A little bit more. In. All right. So, and if we do that, if we make some marks across here, and then relax now and you can see now that we have a line here and a line here so basically relax all the way now you can see how much has to come off in the upper lip I mean in the lower lip we have to take about that much off from there to there and less in the upper so pull them in again and that would be our intended goal relax and that gives you an idea of how much lip surface has to be removed. And since the lip is very stretchy, we usually take about one and a half times the amount, so we end up where that patient wants to be, right about there.